secrets. Millard's told me so much about you. Excuse me, I have to take this. Sign in. He tells everyone you're his favorite pupil. Margaret, I can't thank you. Enough. Millard was Margaret's biology socioeconomic professor during college. Although a star pupil, she was deaf and mute. In my newest project, the canvas is made entirely out of crushed eggshells. Where do they harvest those? I mean, do you know if it's like from an organic grain or what? And this is Millard's colleague from the university, Dr. Lemuel McCullough. Hi. How do you know Millard? Lemuel, being a child genius, received a doctorate at the age of 16. Later, he entered the experimental field of visual acuity science. And I see you've met my nephew Mortimer. Yeah. Mortimer was removed from school at the age of 15. He took an interest in the arts and indulged in what some considered unconventional recreational hobbies. Okay, well, this is them calling right now. I'm telling them you're signing on. Yeah, do you're it signing now. On. Do it right now. Hello? Hello? What was that all about? Oh, uh, nothing. It's some thing in Boston. She's, she's taking care of it right now, so it's fine. Well, guess who's here? Margaret! Margaret? I'm so glad you're here. It would not be a celebration of volume four without you. After publishing three volumes of Quadrate Discounting in You and receiving mass acclaim, he spent 15 years struggling to complete the fourth volume. His literary demise is often blamed on his sudden marriage to noted free spirit, Sycamore Prudhoe. Margaret! Why don't you go, why don't you go help Sycamore? Uncle Millard, you have to open my gift first. You'll never guess what it is. Attempting to break convention, Mortimer inscribed a dozen balloons with famous literary quotations such as the snot green sea, the scrotum tightening sea, Thank you, Mortimer. This was James Joyce Ulysses. And individually wrapped, well done. Good. Margaret, would you help me with the candles? Can you believe I did this with a solitary eggplant? Concerned with her husband's health, Sycamore substituted traditional ingredients for Millard's cake with a healthy alternative. Millard, you get the first piece. All right. Congratulations. This is, this is good. Congratulations. <coughs> Although there was a doctor in the room, Lemuel's visual acuity was of no assistance. You're probably wondering why I came to a graveyard of all places after my near-death experience. It's places like this just remind me, no matter what happens, just keep on living. Just keep on living. Alright, let's go.